In this video, I'll show how to access the PharmCD Electronic Control Drugs Register. This particular video is for organisations which don't require individual passwords for individual members of staff to access the system. However, locum staff will still need to log in using their own personal details with a locum account. First, visit the PharmCD website, which is at app.pharmcd.co.uk. Once you visit that page, you should see something similar to this, which is our login screen. In the top right hand corner of the page on PharmCD, it will always say the status of who is currently logged in. So on this screen here, there is no text here, which means that we're not logged in at all. So the first step is to log in as the pharmacy. In this example, we've got the credentials saved here already. If you're unsure of the credentials, for the pharmacy, then you'll either need to ask a manager or perhaps try a different machine at the pharmacy, which may already be logged in. Enter the details and then just press sign in. Once we do that, in the top right hand corner, we can see that we're now logged in as the pharmacy, but we still need to log in as a member of staff in order to be able to access the register, registers themselves to view and make entries. If in the top right hand corner here, it says the name of a person and not the name of a pharmacy, then it means that they're logged into a personal account, which is only for use for viewing entries that you've made at different pharmacies and also for changing personal details such as your name or email address. And that is not used for making CD entries. If that's the case, then you'll need to log out by just clicking on the name and then clicking on log out. On the lock screen here, you just need to choose the member of staff that you're wanting to log in as click them from the list and click login. If the member of staff doesn't show up in the list, you click on add new user and add some details of the member of staff who's going to be added to the list of staff at this pharmacy. We just put in the name, GPHC number, which is optional, define a role, and then enter the pharmacy password to create that new user. Again, if you're unsure of the pharmacy password, you'll need to check with the manager.